well, well, well. Folks, welcome to our live presentation of our Sailor launch. My name is Brendan coming at you live from Chicago here at Atlas Stationers. We got my brother Brian behind the screen, the camera. This is a big day for us, you guys. For those of you who don't know, we are a fine writing and stationery company. We have a retail store here in downtown Chicago and an e-commerce uh, website. And we are officially launching and showcasing Sailor fine writing instruments and inks from Japan. For those of you who aren't familiar, this is one of the most premium lines out there and one of the most popular lines out there. So we have quite a few items to show. Brian, if you wanna pan the setup here, um, we'll be sure to talk about the different models, the different collections, as well as the inks. To launch this incredible brand, we wanted to make sure we did it justice by bringing in a ton of everything. So on our website and in our store, we are featuring over a hundred Sailor inks and about 30 different pen models, which you'll see here. Now, a little background about Sailor. Uh, the brand is manufactured in Japan. The company started in 1911. Most notably, in terms of the fountain pens, I believe the production started later on in the 90s, or the 80s, my apologies. Um, to begin with though, I believe they were doing like brushes and things like that. We are carrying the fountain pens and the inks, and we'll look to explore other fine writing categories that Sailor has to offer. But if you have any questions about what we go over, or if you'd like to see Anything up close, just let us know in the comments. Brian will be reading out everything. Yeah, and let's say good morning to uh, all of our friends here on TikTok. We've got mm -hmm. most of our dream team members here. I see Kelsey, Tanya, Daniel, Karina. Mm -hmm. What's uh, up? What's up? Yeah, so we've it's got a, a big good day, crowd. You guys. We've got big Ashley day. in the lab, made my first live today. Usually watch the replay. Well, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we're going to take some time here. We'll go over some of the different collections that we have here, the different size pens. Mm -hmm. uh, show the inks that we have. We're starting with just about a hundred different colors of ink spread across four collections. Yep. I'd be happy to show any of the swatches if you have anything in particular you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and again, everything is live on our website. We spent the last 24 hours swatching and photographing it's been everything. It's been we very have. hectic. Um, we got it. That's why we were a couple minutes late uh, getting this up. But uh, everything is live. Uh, on the site that we have now. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's start. You wanna start with uh, maybe the most popular model that we have, the, the biggest collection, which is gonna be the Pro Gear Slim. Yeah, so the Pro Gear Slim comes in a wide variety of different color options. Um, what you might notice about the Pro Gears is they have a flat top uh, set of finials, the classic Sailor logo. All of these models will feature a 14 karat gold nib. Now, the reason why we're so attracted to this collection is because of the wide variety of color options. They come in a lot of different pastel colors, um, different um, finial colors to the bo body and the cap, as well as some nice contrasting colors. This seems to be the popular collection that we were forecasting for our clientele because when we were looking at all of the pen models and the inks um, from you know, other brands such as Ferris Wheel Press or uh, Wearing Goal, we noticed that these colorways seem to be what everyone is looking for. So we went all in. Um, these are the Manyo Pro Gear sets that will actually come in a gift set with the ink bottle and of course the converter right there. But you see such as this model right here, it's opaque mixed with a transparent barrel. They're just beautiful. Yeah, in this collection, the Manio gift sets here, uh, I think these are maybe the newest collection to Sailor uh, worldwide. Uh, these just launched, I know in the US, uh, I think in the last week or two. Uh, so we've got the entire collection here. They're available in three different nib sizes, which is gonna be fine, medium, fine, and medium. Yep. And uh, let's get caught up on some comments. The most recent one I see from Daniel. Those are nice gift sets. What do they run? So I believe the Manio gift sets are 320. I got to double check on the pricing. I don't know if we have the, yeah, the I can price check real quickly. tag on there. But our we currently have all five of the newest 312. releases. Oh, 312. There you go. So retail's at 390. 
sale at 312. Yeah. So before we go on, let me uh, see if there's any other comments here we want to get caught up on. Uh, got a lot of people in saying how excited they are about uh, the launch here. So, so are we. Thanks for joining. Yeah, something we've been working on for a long time uh, with the help of Sailor, uh, Natoya, and Scott with uh, Sam Pro. Just been a huge help getting everything up and running for us. Yeah, as Brian's looking back to the chat, we see some more uh, ranges of nib sizes with Sailor than, that we normally don't see. Um, I believe on, as Brian mentioned, on, on these sets right here, there's three of them. Uh, the medium fine is a little bit more unique to us. It's going to be a blend or right in between the fine and the medium. Um, typically, I associate Japanese pens being more fine. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the nib options. In regards to uh, some of the other pro gears and then the 1911s, which are the cigar shapes, um, those actually do have the opportunity in some of the models to be purchased in what, like seven or eight different nib sizes? Yeah, yeah. so it's, uh, I believe it's seven. So you have extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, zoom, and music. Yep. Uh, I do have a question here from Karina. Uh, can we see the, or how did the 1911 large compares to the pro gear? The Absolutely. standard pro gear. Yeah, the standard pro gear. So let's get a 1911 large and then grab a pro gear, Brendan. Oh, that's right here. Yeah, no, up again. There we go, like that. So those are up next to each other. There we go. Oh, this is a pro gear. All right, whatever. We're good. No, We're so good. They're right next to each other, so we can see the size difference. Yeah, here you go. Honestly, they're pretty similar in size. It's just the finials is really where the extra length comes from on the 1911. Yeah, so this is 1911 large. This is the standard pro gear. And then real quickly, we'll show you the difference between the 1911 standard versus the Pro Gear Slim. Yep, and then last, let's do the Pro Gear versus the Pro Gear Slim. Actually, I'll leave them down right there. There we go. The yeah, so like the that. standard Pro Gear is on the left, Pro Gear Slim is on the right. And again, Pro Gear Slim is the model that we have the most units available, uh, most colorways. I think we're starting out with about 22 different options in the Pro Gear Slim. And so we had a good question from Ashley. I see the new arrivals on the site. When might the other sailors marked as coming soon be coming? Uh, great question. So I know that there's a few items that are on back order that we'll be waiting on uh, from sailors. So I'm not positive, but hopefully uh, very soon we'll be getting everything. So now outside of the two sizes, basically like the Slim and the Standard, um, for the pro gear and then as well as the uh, standard in the large 1911 we do offer the king of pens um, which is the largest size offered out of the sailor collection this is the king of pens 1911 uh, next up against the large and then the slim uh, or the standard my apologies now keep in mind um, this these two models will take a 21 karat gold nib the standards will take a 14 karat gold nib and then in the pro gear Let's get a close up right here. Let me shift some stuff around. The King of Pens Pro Gear, as well as the standard Pro Gear, will take the 21 karat gold nib. And then the Slim Pro Gear will take the 14 karat gold nib. So essentially, it's a safe bet to say that everything takes a 21 karat gold nib except the Slim Pro Gear and the standard 1911. So those nibs will be a little bit more softer just due to uh, the higher gold content, meaning they'll be a little bit more forgiving than 14 karat. But as you can tell, the collection is just unbelievable. Uh, if you guys are watching, whether it's live or the YouTube replay, let us know if you have a favorite model. Um, Brian, why don't you pan real quickly across them all? Um, as we mentioned earlier, you'll see that there's a, a blend of uh, opaque finishes, opaque and transparent finishes, transparent finishes, Contrasting colors, just the whole setup is unbelievable. Yeah, and let's show these now. This is the one series we haven't shown yet. This is also very new to Sailor. This is the 1911 standard, 1911S in the Jellyfish collection. So we've got five different colorways, all uh, demonstrators. Yeah, one thing that I'd like to note that the camera might not pick up is these have 
tiny bit of shimmer throughout the cap in the barrel. Um, when you see it with the naked eye, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, actually, that goes to say with a lot of the models that you see exhibiting today, a lot of them do have shimmer involved. So yeah, these are the, the five new jellyfish releases. I really like the color options. Um, I think that it hits a wide range and there's something for everyone. Yeah, and after seeing these in person and getting our photography done, uh, really excited about them. Based on the stock photos, it's kind of hard to see exactly what Brennan was talking about, seeing some of the, the shimmer inside the, the yeah, resin. Yeah, we'll see if we can zoom in. Uh, but there you go, yeah, a little bit better. Some of that sparkle. Let me show it on another one. Yeah, there's also, uh, moving to your left, Brian, I do want to show off uh, two pro gears that have almost like a, a frosted finish. So here is a, a glossier like resin finish. This one is more of a frosted, which is a very unique finish to me. Um, this one is called the Spring Rain. It's yeah, and the, the one next to it is going to be the Winter Rain. It's part of a rain collection. We were able to get two of them in here. And I looks like we've got some comments, people looking mm -hmm. for a little bit more information on specific models we can see them together so first from kelsey can we see the rabbit ear iris and line friends pony together so there's the coney the rabbit ear i believe is might be that one right in front of you brendan i can't remember for sure those are the last ones we got photographed yeah i know this one is the line friends mm -hmm. um, it's also going to have the the cute stamp on the nib And then got a question from Scott. Uh, do sailors come with the converter or are they uh, sold separately? So they should, I believe all of them should have a converter ready to go. Yep. Uh, so you're ready to go with bottled ink. Yep, all of them will come with the converter and a cartridge, I'm pretty sure too. Yeah, and then, so for Kelsey, those two are on her wish list. I got a comment here on uh, comparing the Pro Gear with the 1911. Pro Gear takes the win uh, based on the finial that you get with that flap top. I had a, someone really liking the shimmer on those jellyfish pens. And from Daniel, I like that strawberries and cream color one. So I'm guessing that's the Coney. Yep. Let's try to zoom in and pick up some of the shimmer on some of these other models. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, what's the price range? So we have got everything, I believe in like the two to three hundred dollars. Two to three hundred dollar range for most of these. Uh, King of Pen starts getting up there closer yeah, to nine hundred ish. And Brendan, can you check the on the rain series, the spring rain and winter rain? Can you check what the nib is on those? Are those fourteen or twenty one carat? This which one? are these two right here? Oh, gotcha. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Oh, okay, so, those, so that's a special special nib then, for a special edition. So any push button pens like the Vanishing Point. Uh, not that we have, I'm not sure if Sailor makes any, uh, but nothing in the collection that we have. All right, and what are you looking for, Brendan? Uh, I'm just getting all the information ready in case we have more questions. Okay. So, sorry, you probably couldn't hear me. Um, so yeah, if you guys go on our website, um, when we photographed all of the swatches, we kept it as consistent as possible uh, with the background and the distance of the photo. So you can compare and contrast every color. If you want to step over here, Brian, this is the start of our Sailor ink wall. Um, as you can tell, it took up almost a whole four foot section, which is just crazy. So um, up here you have the Shikiori inks. Um, you got the state inks down here, the Manos. It's just ridiculous how many inks there are and how many inks people seem to collect. So we wanted to make sure we brought in the whole assortment for y'all. 
Um, with these ones, we, we typically brought in about three to four of each color. On the pens, um, you know, we brought in quite a few nib options as well per model. That way you have your choice. Yeah, so if you see anything sold out on the website as we're expecting things to move pretty quickly here, this is one of the largest launches we've ever had here at Atlas. Uh, if you see something out of stock, make sure you sign up for the restock notification. We're going to be placing orders uh, pretty frequently uh, to make sure that we have the right collection and right assortment uh, for everyone to, to find in store and online. Yep. And then I'd also like to show off the swatches. So to me, my favorite collection is the Manyo series. Um, beautiful, beautiful shading inks. Um, the Haha ha has been around for a couple years now and seems to be the crowd favorite. It's a very soft blue with kind of like a purple um, background that it, it sheens or shades into. And then let's flip through. This back page is actually super saucy. Then here's the next series right here. I mean, my goodness. Let me take this one out real fast. Yeah, I think you guys will really enjoy the inks. Yeah, we want to give a shout out to uh, our very own Alyssa, who swatched 97 inks yesterday. Uh, as soon as we got our order in, we put her to work, and uh, she got knocked out every one of these. Did a fantastic job. Hawaii is really pretty. I think the Illinois one is, it must be out. I think it's a blue. Is it a blue? Yes, it is. Our very own Illinois. Super fun. Yeah, we had another question about ink. Uh, what about ink one, two, three? So I believe that's part of the ink studio collections. Yes. So we started out with about a hundred colors between the four or five main collections that we have. Uh, there's another collection that's coming called Ink Studio. That's gonna be here hopefully in the next couple months. That's gonna basically double the amount of inks that we carry from Sailor. Uh, so as soon as we get confirmation on when that is gonna make it to us, uh, we'll make sure we get all that content up on the website uh, so you can be ready for that launch. But uh, hopefully coming pretty soon and uh, really have just about every ink available from Sailor here. Yep. So if you guys have any questions, comments, if you wanna see anything again, please let us know. Brian, I do want to touch on one more piece that's from a different collection than uh, this premium product. I do want to talk about the compass real quickly. For individuals who maybe are looking for more of an introductory piece to Sailor, you know, if you aren't ready to make the commitment of, you know, about 200 plus dollars, um, we do offer the compass um, collection, which is about $40. Uh, it's going to be a steel nib pen that comes with the matching color converter and the cartridge. This would be a great way to um, you know, have accessibility to the brand for those who wanna try it out and aren't ready to uh, make the larger investment into the gold nib pens. So these come in a wide variety of color options as well. I think like eight or something off the top of my head, somewhere around there. So be sure to check that out as well. Um, and then we are offering a wide range of cartridges as well. Uh, I think specifically from the Shikiori collection, correct? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we should have swatches up on all those uh, on the site now. And then we've also got the standard black, blue, blue, black in cartridges and bottles of ink. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're getting some good comments. Yes, yeah, Sailor are amazing with their inks. Yep. Uh, Jen yep. asking if we're going to have a Sailor or so fingers crossed for Sailor ink in, in an upcoming Hollywood sub box. Uh, so hopefully Could something be a we possibility. Can, yeah, hopefully mm -hmm. something we can uh, get added in the near future. Uh, from Tanya. Some of the inks may run a bit dry. They're beautiful, so don't get discouraged if uh, it dries out a little bit. Good mm -hmm. to know. The good news is you can collect them all. Right now there's 97 options, so. Yes. All right. And we're getting a shout out to Mama T. She must be in the background here. I uh, just walked through. Mama T and Alyssa figuring out all the rearrangement of the notebooks. Things get moved around literally all the time here. Uh, you guys, we took photos of the vision we needed to make to add more shelving to accommodate the Sailor ink. Um, we actually had to shift this whole, uh, I guess, section downwards because we needed to add another four-foot display piece to make room for all of the ink. So 
it's been pretty crazy. Um, we did get all the photos. We had like 17 members on deck helping to, you know, make the space first thing yesterday morning. So it's pretty incredible how much uh, the team has really uh, been able to pull through to get all of this stuff up and running within 24 hours. So big shout out to the A team, the Atlas family. It's truly impressive. So, and you know, I had a great time photographing the pens. I typically enjoy photographing more colorful pens because then I get to put more colorful notebooks, inks, accessories in the background as well. So I really enjoyed all of the uh, photography that was taken here. Yeah, plus it gave you a good chance to learn. You know, this is a brand new collection to us. Yep. Uh, so we're kind of learning as we go, getting to see the pens that we really like in person as well. Yep. And you know what? Um, now that I've got some of the information pulled up, uh, this was the 2023 pen of the year, um, the 1911 pen of the year. This is the Golden Olive. So this one is brand new. Um, you do have the option to purchase it in a standard or a large. I think the large goes for $440. Um, you'll notice that we have some of the same model in different sizes. Not all of them come that way, but the ones that do, um, we try to you know accommodate and do a large and a slim or a standard in a slim. Yeah, we'll go through. So the North or the Gold Olive, I believe, is a North American exclusive for 2023. Right here, we have the Pro Gear, Pro Gear Slim, and the Little Mermaid. Uh, that is also, or not Little Mermaid. Um, what's the name of that one, Brennan? Which one? The Mermaid. Follow uh, the Mermaid. There we go. Follow the Mermaid. Follow the Mermaid. It's uh, also a North American exclusive, just like the Coney here from Line Friends. Yeah, I think, I think there's a few more line friends out there. Um, I'm not sure if we're getting them, but pretty sure there is, correct? Yeah, this, uh, there was. I'm not sure how long ago it was. We're starting out with the, the newest version of it. Sure, sure. So, Tanya, I like Wicked Witch of the West. Yes. Uh, that one's coming soon. I know I'm that we have sure. that coming. Karina, I want that golden olive in the 1911. It's a beautiful finish. This Large. one has substantially more noticeable shimmer because it's, it's uh, transparent. All right, well, that's all I've got. Um, yeah, pretty big introduction. So yeah. we're going to be filming some videos here. I know Brennan's going to be showcasing some uh, pens and inks on TikTok here shortly over the next few couple of days, coming weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure if you do order any Sailor products, you want to see it pulled, add that note. We'd love to start doing some live order yep. polling. We'll do uh, it tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time. Yes. That's the next live order polling video. Not going to do any today. Yeah. So, and then uh, if you want to see us again, we're about to hop on Instagram live at 11 a.m. So about 15, 20 minutes from now, uh, going through the same thing, answering questions, showcasing the collection. And uh, we'll make sure we have this reposted to YouTube probably later today. Uh, Scott asking, will you be in DC? So yes, uh, we've been mentioning it the last couple of days, Brendan and I decided last minute we're going to be heading out to the DC Pen Show. I'm pumped. It's supposed to be like the biggest show in, in the U.S. So. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll be there uh, for sure on Friday. Don't know exactly what time, but probably in the morning. And uh, possible we'll be there Saturday uh, for part of the day. We'll have to see uh, how the, the weekend goes. We haven't been out to, to the show before. so Stop by, say goes. what's up. We'll have stickers, business cards, of course. But most importantly, you know, we're there to say hi to all of you who are out there. And, uh, you know, just have a good time, make some content, chill, relax. Should be a good, good show. Cool. All we're right. All good. Yeah, we're good. All right. We'll see you guys either on the IG live in about 15 minutes, um, 11 a.m. Central time today, Thursday, the 27th, or we'll see you tomorrow on TikTok live Friday at 10 a.m. Central time, the 28th. Stay smooth. Peace.